considering how versatile you are defensively, how much potential damage you can have offensively, and now that there's a DH this year, have you given much thought to just how impactful you might be able to be on this type of a season, almost on a daily basis, potentially? Um, you know, the more, the closer we're getting to season, the more I've kind of you know, looked at it. Um, you know, I've always prided myself on being able to do multiple jobs and, um, you know, this year being the short season, um, you know, it's going to be a sprint to the finish line and, uh, you know, whatever team is the most ready is going to have the most successful year. And, you know, hopefully, you know, that that's us at the end. Um, ready to play somebody else other than your own guys? Yes, definitely. It's been it's been a long what three and a half four months now, so it's it, we're really looking forward to playing someone else. Hi, Ty. Good to see you. Hey, Jay. How you doing? Good. Wanted to ask you about the DH again. Um, if that's going to be your role, it won't be your role every day. But if that's your role for a sizable portion of the season, how do you prepare for maybe that role that you probably haven't filled in before? Um, I think. The DH just kind of be kind of like the bench job, um, the preparation work and stuff like that. Um, you kind of just kind of find your routine that works for you and um, go from there. And you know, for me, I'm just going to start with what I was doing last year is if I was on, on the bench roll and um, see what works, see what doesn't, and kind of run with that. What are some of the keys that you learned from last year to being able to thrive in that role, kind of being able to do a lot of different things, come off the bench, DH? What what, what does it take to be successful at that? Um, kind of like I was saying, the routine part, um, just making sure, you know, you're mentally ready and physically ready. And um, probably staying physically ready is the hardest part. You know, you sit for five, six innings and then have to you know, jump in for your one pinch hit at bat. And um, it's kind of similar with the DH, you know, you get your – at bat in the first or second inning, then you sit until the third, fourth, fifth inning. Um, so you just kind of have to find a way to stay loose and stay locked in. All right, next up, we'll go to Marty Caswell, 1360. Uh, good, good morning, Ty. Just building off your, your responses to, to, to Bob and to AJ, how difficult is it, though, to go ahead and prepare for the role of being a super utility player and being able to go ahead and hit when you were called off the bench for that moment? Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> um, you know, you have to try and master each position and, um, you know, put in the extra time and extra work to you know, be a big leaguer at, at each position. And, um, you know, just like I said, it comes down to the preparation and, and finding the routine that works for you and, um, you know, trusting that everything you've worked on will go out there and it'll, it'll work. And how comfortable, how comfortable do you feel playing other positions? you know playing at first base and playing playing where they where they, where they put you i mean pretty comfortable I, i've done a lot of work this last four months um at each spot and um the only like the newest thing is catching um really started to get back into that the last couple of weeks and um so that's I'm not, I'm not super comfortable back there yet but i'm also you know if i had to go back in a game i i could hold my own and on the topic of looking forward to getting the season rolling, opening day less than a week away, how excited are you? And what's the wait been like to to finally see this uh, light at the end of the tunnel? It's been a long wait. Um, I think for everybody, we're all antsy to get out there. And, um, you know, it, it's going to be fun. Even though there will be no fans in the stands, um, it'll be nice just to get out there and play baseball again. Jason said you're the emergency catcher, but if you're getting work at catcher, it seems like maybe like just a slight tick above emergency. And I'm wondering, like, if you're – are you comfortable if, say, in extra innings, you, there's that rule with the guy in second, they want to pinch run for a catcher. Like, are you comfortable spending a critical inning in a ball game if potentially you have to go behind the plate? Yeah, I think that's what we're, we're training for is, um, you know, like you said, the emergency catcher situation with, you know, late innings, um, catching, you know, the late bullpen guys, Kirby, guys like that. And um, so we're working towards that, getting more comfortable with that. And um, right now, you know, I, I would say, yes, I'm, I'm comfortable enough to get back there. And, um, you know, like I said, hold my own. Hi, Ty. Good morning. Um, how big do you consider your progress uh, compared to this year with the last one? Um, this year – for me, it's, it's been more of a comfort level, um, you know, being a rookie last year, you know, get my feet wet, um, you know, still having those rookie nerves, um, you know, coming into this year, it definitely, it's a lot, lot easier for me. And, um, you know, just that comfort and feeling of that I belong here and 
um, you know, I've, I've put in the work and um, I trust that, you know, the work is going to show prove itself. And, um, you know, this year is definitely a lot, a lot more comfortable. Uh, you know, the group of guys we have is an incredible group and um, the veterans, you know, they make it very welcoming for the younger guys. So, um, you know, I'm really excited for this year to get going.